Welcome back to the Wolf Pit. Today I'm doing a leg of lamb studded with rosemary and garlic, then simply seasoned with kosher salt and black pepper. Finally, it's grilled to perfection with a touch of rosemary smoke. This is extremely easy, delicious, and the perfect centerpiece for any occasion. So let's get started. Here I have a four pound bone-in leg of lamb that I'm gonna cut holes in throughout to stuff the garlic and rosemary in. Now simply stuff each hole with fresh rosemary and fresh garlic cloves. Once all the holes are stuffed with rosemary and garlic, flip the roast over. And then cut more slits in this side. And then I'm only going to stuff garlic on the bottom side. Now drizzle and rub in a little bit of olive oil. And then very generously season with kosher salt and black pepper. Then give it a good massage. Then flip it over. And then repeat the same process on this side. And then season with kosher salt and black pepper and then give it a good massage and let it sit on the counter while we go out and light the grill. I'm cooking this leg of lamb on my grill dome today and I'm going to light my lump charcoal with my hand torch. Simply light a couple spots with the hand torch with the bottom vent all the way open and then let the grill sit with the lid open for about 15 minutes until you have a nice bed of lit coals. After 15 minutes we have a nice bed of coals lit now set the grill dome or other ceramic cooker up for indirect cooking. If you're using a kettle type grill, pile the coals on one side of the grill and then place the meat on the other side. Or if you're using a gas grill, light only one side of the grill and place the meat on the opposite side. And last but not least, for those of you that want to cook this in your oven, simply preheat your oven to 350 degrees, then place the meat on a raised roasting pan. And now back to the grill. Add the main cooking grate and give it a good cleaning and then close the lid and let the grill preheat to 350 degrees. Once the grill is up to 350 degrees, I'm gonna add some rosemary stems to the heat deflector plate, which will cause them to slowly smoke, which will add a nice flavor to the lamb. Now add the leg of lamb to the center of the grill. And then insert a meat thermometer, ensuring you're not touching the bone. And then close the grill and let the leg of lamb grill at 350 degrees for an hour and a half to two hours or until the internal temperature reaches 135 degrees. After an hour and 45 minutes, the leg of lamb is at 135 degrees. Now remove the lamb from the grill, lightly wrap in aluminum foil and let it rest for 30 minutes before slicing. And as you can see, all the rosemary stems have slowly burnt down. After resting for 30 minutes, let's unwrap the lamb, slice into it, and see how it turned out. If it tastes as good as it looks and smells, I'm in for a treat. The salt on the outside formed a nice crust. And depending on how many people you're trying to feed, you can slice this as thin or as thick as you like. And as you can tell, it's extremely moist. Just like my mouth from salivating in anticipation of eating this. There you have it. A leg of lamb studded with rosemary and garlic and simply seasoned with salt and pepper, then grilled to perfection. Serve it with the au jus that gathered on the plate while it was resting, along with mint jelly. I'm no lamb aficionado, and I don't know if everyone eats it with mint jelly, but when I ate it as a kid, I always remember my father serving it with mint jelly, and I loved it then, and I love it now. This leg of lamb was moist, tender, and very delicious, and most of all, it was very simple to make.
Thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you soon.